So why do you think they made you captain with all of those captains or previous captains in the squad? Was it Obviously was Warren was the captain. Yeah. 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 Warren. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, I said again, yeah, Dad. Um, I think, um, yeah, we, we were facing the hacker, like, we went to New Zealand. The first three days was just marry welcome after marry welcome. And I remember Gatlin got the leadership boys in. He said, oh, lads, when we were at that college yesterday, I'm just wondering, what's going through, I'm a, as a Kiwi, what's going through your mind when you're facing these hackers? Jamie Roberts went, taking the culture and just, you know, privileged to be in the Maori Treaty. Well, what do you think, Biggs? He went, yeah, no, just same thing. Like, I remember thinking, oh, fucking hell, don't ask me again. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> You, I mean, you look at your warps, what, what do you think? And I said, um, oh, no offence, Gat, because I know you're Kiwi and that. Um, I fucking hate it. And I said, do you remember that big one who was at the front giving it the big one to you and me? I, I just eyeballed him and thinking, come on then, you fat prick, let's fucking go. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, when, when I, um, that's what I hate. I, I don't like taking any credentials uh, or credit about... Um, captaincy because so i'm like yeah but i had can you imagine being captain if you had anna Wynne jones and dan bigger and john davis and jamie roberts and gethin jenkins all giving you like intel like yeah. mm. it's fucking easy yeah do you know what i mean so like I, I was only decent because i had such a good group around me you know well, and like they, they're as influential yeah, but mate, if you, that's that that is but that's the mark of a leader. So the fact that you were able yeah. to do a lion... I don't want to blow smoke up your ass, but when you, when you were the lion's captain yeah. and you've got Brian and you've got O'Connell there already who've, you know, done the job and you're able to not be intimidated by that. I think when you were talking... But to also Paul, for them to respect you enough exactly. do you, yeah, do you to know have that was, confidence in you. Yeah, do you know, a, really, um, a really good quote, actually. I actually, I thought it was one of the, one of the ones that really stuck with me. One of these guys, one of the athletes I've been interviewing, it was Seb Coe. And he was talking about leadership. And he's obviously like done it from an athlete's perspective and like political and Olympic committee. And now he's president of World Athletics. But he just said something which really resonated. He just went, um, weak leaders love weak people around them. And that's oh, what I loved oh, it. Because oh, I was that's like, a great, it's a great, <laughs> honestly, it's Ellis's it's a, motto. It's, it's a great line because it's, you know, you know, we've all seen that person who just gets a load of yes men around him who just don't yeah. challenge. Then I think that actually a good leader actually sees all the good people around him and actually go, y- you go, yeah. like yeah. you, you, you yeah, yeah, you can yeah. do this. Yeah, like it's not just about you. You know, it's about everyone else around you. So. I think that's what, like, yeah, that's oh, one sort of the good things rugby has taught me. It's like you know, you don't want to naturally as a rugby player want to be the guy front and center. You play rugby because you love being part of a team and you love being one of the boys, you know. So mm-hmm. I think having that group around you is um, such an important thing. You know, I, I tried to live under a rock and get away from all that. I hated that that stuff. But yeah, having people like O'Connell and Brian. I remember O'Connell after one. Um, session the, one of the first sessions we did on the Lions he got us all together and I was captain he was like boom 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 this is the kind of pack we're going to be this this and this and it, it was awesome how he spoke you know and it, we walked off the pitch and I thought oh, I, love, yeah, I love that and he cut to me he was like oh Sam I'm so sorry and I was like w- why he went I, I didn't mean to just sort of take over at the end and just start speaking I just kind of like how me and Brian work at you know Ireland Brian's a bit quieter and might only speak towards match day mm. But I sort of drive it a bit in the week. And I was like, oh, mate, that's exactly like, say, me and Alan win. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll only dip in a little bit. Um, there's other guys who drive that in the week and who need to bring that emotion and enthusiasm. And I'm like, yeah, no, brilliant. Keep doing that, you know? So You've got a real confidence in yourself to be able to deal with that as well, so yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah, there's plenty I of captains would be too, that wouldn't be able to hack that at all. But then that's when, like, I credit those boys because, like, they'll come up to you and be like, mate, anything you need, like, great choice back you 100% anything you need just let me know and then you're suddenly like fuck I was watching these guys 10 years ago as like a giddy teenager and now I'm <laughs> the captain like yeah. you know it's, it's what but once they give you that confidence that's why that's only one thing I do regret I would have loved to have been a player like there's boys my age still playing now older I'd love a young guy to come in I'd love to just like speak to that guy straight away and empower them and like Martin Williams was the first one to me he was like my Welsh hero growing up and he was the first person to come up to me my first day at Cardiff. And just, I trained with him uh, in the gym. He, and he was just like so, so nice. And I, I, my only regret is I, I never, I wish I could have had that influence on a younger player because it you, meant so much right. to me. Yeah. That's, that's not, because I saw you do something, right? So that's not true. Because <laughs> when, during your year off, there was a guy called Sam Cross who'd come over yeah. from uh, the Sevens tour That's to play right. for the Ospreys. And he played really well for the Ospreys in a cup game that he got called up for. And then he played for Wales. And you were during your year off, I think I'm right, 
and you were in because me and Martin were doing a podcast together, sort of in the same room, oh, and you yeah. were over on the far side doing yeah. video analysis with Sam and talking him through stuff. So do you know what? You I can't make. Oh, I, I forgot that. Yeah, no. Yeah, so I remember Rob McBride, who was forwards coach at the time. I didn't get paid for that. I wasn't, you know, yeah. I wasn't employed by WWE. He said, "Oh, mate, can you come and speak to Sam? I think it'd be great just for yeah. you to give him some tips on how to on how to play 15. So I was like, "Oh, yeah, yeah. brilliant, no problem." So, so yeah, no, you maybe did, I'll you be did there. do that sort of yeah. stuff. So yeah, yeah, don't put yourself down. Oh, cheers, Steph. Yeah, I, forgot, right. I forgot. I forgot <laughs> about that example. Who <laughs> <laughs> yeah. was captain of the England team? That uh, England football team that Owen was in. Oh, would it have been Beckham have been back then? Probably. Probably would have been Beckham. Yeah. He had a good game. I mean, you. Oh. Some of those England players did underachieve as well and didn't quite play at they England level. The how they, they should have, level. How they played yeah. at club level. Yeah. What do you think though? Skulls, Lampard, Gerard, Beckham, midfield. Yeah. That should be well, off I, the scale. That is absolutely ridiculous. Mm. <laughs> so I like, was it Campbell, Ferdinand, Ashley Cole. Ashley Cole Neville. was the best fullback in world football. I think at oh, the time. he was awesome, wasn't he? Mm. He was awesome. I loved him. Yes, he was it Rooney and Owen. Rooney Owen, what a team! Probably That's phenomenal. Rooney, uh, not Rooney in two thousand and one, but it was certainly it was certainly Rooney and Rooney and Owen a couple of years yeah, later. Yeah, yeah. That's a good squad. So why yeah. do you think they made you captain with all of those captains or previous captains in the squad? Was the, were you ever told you why they saw cap- you Warren, captains? Obviously, yeah. Warren. Yeah. Gas love the report, Warren. Yeah, sort of I think um, yeah, sort of gas. yeah, Dad. Um, I think, um, <laughs> I think when I was, I was very, very like super professional. I was actually um, quite aggressive um, and very confident, and to the point where I remember somebody read a rev- somebody did a review on um, something I wrote in my book, and they went, "I started reading this book, and I thought Sam was incredibly arrogant, but by the time I finished it, I realised it was just an enormous amount of self belief." I think Warren kind of like saw that in me, and I think he he quite liked that because the the problem with Wales is like if people say, "Oh, Wales, we like being underdogs." And that's like, that is a Welsh kind of psyche. But I was always like, no, we fucking don't. I hate being underdog. Yeah, I haven't like sacrificed so much to be like number two. Do you know what I mean? And, yeah. And I, and I remember like and that's what Gats tried to get out of us. He like on a Monday he would put the bibs out from one to fifteen, and they pick the team on a Tuesday, so day before team announcement. On a Monday, we go out for like a afternoon session. He go right, start in fifteen to play England, pick up the bibs, and he had name the team. Ooh, love oh, love it. And up. obviously, all of us would be like. Not, and I, I'm not just saying this to be funny. It was true. Mike Phillips fucking walked to the nine, nine shirt away. every time, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he was the only one standing in the middle of the pitch with the yeah, nine yeah. shirt like on. Fucking come on, lads! But, yeah, but, yeah. but Gats loved that. Like he wanted, he wanted That's you to race. be more. And he said a great, he said a great story. Um, he said um, somebody said to him, "What's the best traits you've learned about all the foot, the home nations and all your years being a Lions coach?" Because he's done it since 2009. He said. Um, the Welsh, she said, tend to be the best athletically. They they train the hardest. You can imagine they're all grown up in that, you know. All what in you the benching, sort of, the, yeah, what you benching, you know. <laughs> because like they, they they train the hardest. They're the best athletes. That's what I found. That's what with the Welsh and that, in that era of Wales, you know, we did have b- big powerful players. He said. Um, the Scottish, I never picked enough for them to find out. <laughs> but he said, <laughs> he did, he did, but he did, he did, he did, <laughs> he did say the Irish, uh, the Irish are the, the best tactically, and they challenge the coaches the most. They have the best game understanding, which I think we could we can see that the way mm-hmm. Ireland play. Um, they're the best te- technicians and tactically. And he said the England. He said this. I'm not saying to take the piss. He said this is genuine. He said. Even when they're shit, they still think they're the best. And everyone started laughing. But he said, I know it sounds like a joke, but he says, but that's why they've beaten New Zealand and South mm. Australia more times than anyone that's else. Because they, they think it. And we had this one, last little one on this, like, we had this one um, meeting. I mean, we, we were facing the hacker. Like, we went to New Zealand. We were facing these hackers fucking everywhere. Like, the first three days was just marry welcome after marry welcome. And I remember Gatlin got the leadership boys in. Um, it's like me, Bigger, Jamie Roberts, you know, the, Alan Wynn, those boys. We sat down, had a meeting on a Monday morning, like we always do as a leadership group. And um, he said, oh, lads, when we were at that college yesterday, I'm just wondering, what's going through, I'm a, as a Kiwi, what's going through your mind when you're facing these hackers? And I was, I mean, Jamie Roberts went, oh, yeah, just, you know, taking the culture and just, you know, privileged to be in the Maori Treaty. And, yeah. and then he said, to, he looked at Dan Bigger and he went, well, what do you think, Biggs? He went, yeah, no, just same thing, like just, yeah, just... You know, pretty cool to experience New Zealand culture and all that. Be respectful. I remember thinking, "Oh, fucking hell, don't ask me, guys." <laughs> and, um, and he said, uh, he, "I mean, look, you're Warbs. What, what do you think?" 
And I said, um, oh, no offence, Gat, because I know you're Kiwi and that. Um, I fucking hate it. And I said, you remember that big one who was at the front giving it the big one to you and me? I, I just eyeballed him and thinking, come on then, you fat prick, let's fucking go. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and I didn't know what he was going to say. And he went, exactly, it's a challenge and that's how you've got to perceive it. And so like funny. before, the, um, before there was a Lions DVD in 2013, there was one clip of me just ranting and raving for the game and they were playing it in the house one Christmas and my in-laws were there and... Um, you're always on your best behaviour for the in-laws, like you are when you're doing media, you know, you're on your best behaviour, you know, yes sir, no sir, oh yeah, you know, uh, can I marry your daughter, all that. But anyway, this... Um, <laughs> with the media? Yeah, yeah not with the media. <laughs> so, <laughs> so my in-laws are watching this DVD and um, they were like, my, my speech, my sp- I'm fucking effing and jeffing, I'm like getting pretty aggressive, because that was the mindset I used to get in. And um, I, knew, I knew that's what coaches li- quite liked about me, I was a bit of a hothead, you know, and they were like, oh, yeah. you, you don't like that. My, they were like, that's, that's not an accurate reflection of Sam. My brother was like, that's fucking that's exactly small. what Sam is like. So I, I think, to, so like, to sort of round it, I, th- I think just that's kind of aggression, belief, mindset, competitiveness is, I, I think, you know, impressionism is, is what he liked and what he yeah. wanted to try and drag a bit more of out of the lads. <laughs> 